Hello guys, how are you doing this fine evening or morning or afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video? It's evening here, so good evening. This video is kind of a life update video, what I've been up to, what's been going on, and I will also be talking about an amazing person that I met recently. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I have a ton of things that have been going on, hence the reason that I've been struggling with videos and struggling to put videos up, and I do apologize for that. This semester has been exceptionally hectic, I have been working a lot, and a lot has been going on, and it's been a struggle. This month alone, I have only read a half of a book, not even a half of a book. What? That's horrendous. I started Glass Sword, it's like right there and I'm like almost 200 pages in what what I was so excited for glass sword and I'm still excited for glass sword it's really good I just can't find time to do anything lately it is almost the end of March there are two weeks left in March and then I will have one more month of school and I'll be all finished and everything will be wonderful and peachy and nice and I'll be able to film more videos all the time but in the meantime, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my absolute best to keep up with my channel because I love this channel, I love you guys, and I want to keep filming videos. But what has been going on with me? Recently, this past Sunday, I fell down the stairs because it's me. <laughs> that will never change. I'm always going to be graceless. Um, yeah, fell down the stairs, got this gnarly little bruise right here that you can probably kind of make out. And I broke my tailbone, which is fantastic. It actually hurts to sit straight down, and I have to like sit off to a side, which is what I'm doing now, and driving sucks, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, so that's fun and painful and horrible, and I will always hold on to the railing of the stairs from now on, because I, 10 out of 10 would not recommend doing that ever, so yeah, don't do that. Other things that have been going on that I'm super, super excited for, on a whim, in January, I applied for an internship, and I had an online interview, and then I had a phone interview, which lasted for about 30 minutes, which was insane and terrifying, but really, really exciting. I found out about a month ago that I was accepted to be a part of the Disney College program, and honest to God, it is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I applied on a whim. I was like, you know, the odds of me getting in, about, you know, 50,000 people apply each semester and they let about 6,000 people in. And I was like, yeah, you yeah, know, we'll see. And I got accepted. I didn't think I was going to get accepted and I was hopeful, but I got accepted. And that means that from August to January, I will be going to Walt Disney World in Florida. I will be living down there. I'll be working down there. And I am going to probably have the time of my life. I am so 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 excited it's not even real yet because I, it's just unimaginable i have a countdown going i'm working on figuring out housing and like where i want to stay and how many roommates i want to have and i'm just honestly so so honored and so thrilled to get to be a part of this it's going to be such an incredible wonderful experience it'll be the first time that i get to be on my own away from my comfort zone away from my friends and family and I am putting this in my little life update, so one, you kind of get to know what's going on with me, and two, I think that I am going to be vlogging my experience going into this. I'm going to be vlogging about my life during the Disney program, and during the program, it is about a four-month program, I'm still going to be vlogging about books because how could I not? But I do also want to incorporate my time in Disney and vlog about it so that it's always there for me to look back on and I can share it with you guys. So yeah, I'm super, super excited about that. About a week ago, I went to New York City and I went to an audition for Disney because I thought how awesome would it be to be a Disney character in the park and that was really, really fun, really exciting, one of the most laid back auditions I've ever been to and it was just the coolest experience ever. I went into a studio in the middle of Manhattan. We learned to dance, I got to make a bunch of new friends, 
that was really exciting. And right after that, I got to meet up with my friend Angie, which I've mentioned her in a previous video. She's amazing. You should definitely check out her channel and I will link her below as well. She's awesome. Angie and I met up and we went to Dave and Buster's because we're adults and like, what else are we gonna do besides win a million tickets to buy literally cat ears? That's what we did and I regret nothing because they're cute cat ears. I was so, so thrilled to see her because I love her so much and I didn't want it to end so I ended up staying several days at her place and it was the greatest thing ever. She did my makeup because you know she's an angel and she loves me and, and I it was amazing because she's incredible when it comes to makeup. We did little mini photo shoots and we watched movies and we had a total girls time and I absolutely loved it because oh, I love Angie's. And yeah, if you want to see a little bit of what we did on our New York trip, here are some pictures. Apart from all of that craziness and all of the things that were going on with school and work and with the Disney college program and my broken body, I also had something happen a couple months ago. Now it's been a couple months. It's kind of insane that it's been that long. But I recently, as you probably know, or as you should know, I went to a little book signing in Ben Salem, PA. I think is what it's called. I don't remember, but it was somewhere far away. It was like an hour and a half drive. But I went to this book signing. Susan Dennard was there. Sophie Jordan was there. Sarah J. Mass was there. Victoria Aveyard was there. <sighs> what a great lineup of people and human beings. It was so much fun. So went to this book signing, went by myself. None of my friends read at the same pace as I do. So it's kind of a struggle to get them to come with me to book signings because they probably haven't read what I've read or the rest of my friends just don't read and that's devastating. I'm not gonna miss the event, so I went to the book signing by myself and I was like, no, mm, whatever, I'll go, you know, by myself, just hang out and, you know, stuff. So, went to this book signing, was on cloud nine because some of my favorite, favorite authors were there. I ended up meeting this lovely, lovely family. They were kind enough to talk to me while I was by myself and included me in their conversation, so I didn't feel like a complete loser being there by myself. And honestly, you can meet some of the best people in your life in, at the most random times. And I am so, so lucky to have gotten to go to that book signing because I met these incredible people. I met this wonderful human being, Zach, and I also met his wonderful mom. And if you don't know who Zach is, Zach is also a fellow booktuber and his channel I will link below. It is called Book Fire and you should definitely check it out because he is so funny, so sassy, and just so amazing and incredible because it's Zach, so obviously. But yeah, at this book signing, we were there for hours. We were there for probably, I don't even know, we were there for what, like nine or ten hours, Zach? Just so long and I was fortunate enough to have met these incredible people because I got to talk to them the entire time and we got to bond over like everything including like Tyler Hecklin because obviously. And honestly I just think it's the coolest thing ever, the people that you meet out of nowhere and how important they can be in your life down the road. As I said, my friend Angie earlier who I met in New York, I met her at a USA Upfront's red carpet event just randomly. We happened to stand in line next to each other and I complimented her on her dress. And again, I was there by myself and a friendship bloomed and we're great, great friends. We're like best friends and we obviously have never left contact with each other. We're constantly texting each other about Theo James and Zac Efron and like, you know, the important things in life. Same thing with Zach. I mean, I just happened to go to the same book signing as him. I happened to sit next to him and he's just so, so incredible, Zach. I absolutely love you. You are so, so talented. 
so inspiring and just so passionate about everything you do. I'm just so amazed by you. I'm so amazed by your talent and I'm so lucky to have met you because you push me to pursue mine. I'm just so grateful that I got the chance to meet you and that we're literally like going to be best friends forever. I feel it in my bones and in my core because you're wonderful and you know that obviously. The only downside about our friendship is that you live so far away. I mean, you don't live that far away. Like, it could be worse. But you live two hours away, which is bumming me out because I thought we were closer. But we're still gonna hang nonstop because obviously. Yeah, this video has been long overdue. I met Zach a couple months ago, as I said, and we've been in constant contact ever since. We text each other all the time. We send each other ridiculous Snapchats, which is fantastic. And this is a video that I definitely should have put together such a long time ago and I am just happy that I'm finally getting out there because the world needs to know how amazing Zach is and as I said if you don't know who Zach is go check his channel out because he is so so much fun to watch his videos are fantastic yeah that's pretty much it for what's been going on with my life and what I've been up to and where I've been if you want to keep up to date with me if I'm unable to post for periods of time, which again, I'm trying really hard to continuously post, but if I'm unable to, you can always follow me on my Snapchat, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my Tumblr, and I'll post all of those links below. But it's a good way to keep in touch with me, and if you want to follow me, I'd follow everyone back, so yeah. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to read your books, and I will see you in the future with more videos. Thanks guys, bye!